volunteer program was set up to try and encourage a wide participation and get people who wouldn't ordinarily get involved with galleries or art or even archives and it is just trying to get a different kind of culture within the whole organisation the more diverse people you get in the more it starts to affect the culture of the organisation itself. The purpose of the preservation volunteer program is to go through the archive material and check it to see if it's in a state that can be photographed. At the beginning you feel a bit intimidated by these really old papers or you know really delicate materials. But, you know the first time you really you actually panic but then the second time you know how to handle it and it's like every day I learn something new. When we have a conservator in the room, they're very keen to ask all kinds of um, questions to find out more about the processes that are involved in taking care of archives. But it actually opens up opportunities for people to get involved, carve out careers for themselves. Um, and it gives them insight, actually, to behind the scenes. I have a bit of a gap in my working experience because I took time to look after my family. So although I I did specific training. Some years I didn't work, so I thought, let's brush up some skills to fill some gaps in my CV as well. It's been great because we are, we're not professional, but we got a lot of support, both from our coordinator and from um, the conservators at Tate. So it's quite nice, they, they pass on their knowledge, and you feel like every time you come here, you learn something more. You finish your folder and say, look at this, I've done this. It was a really old folder, like a bit dusty, and, and now it's, it's great and it's ready for people to look for it. I am going to apply for an MA in paper conservation and so it's a, it's a great lead into that and to put on my application form and just get some experience working with the materials and learning how to handle the papers and um, just meeting people in conservation as well. I think it's, uh, well, it's a unique experience to be able to go through the, the archive of artists that you can actually see have an insight in, in their lives. In a way, it's also like being a detective. You build up an idea of the personality of the artist that can appeal to you or it cannot, it depends, but it keeps your mind intrigued. By looking at works of art, you're only seeing one side of the story, um, and once you see all the letters, there's, you know, there's so much more you find out about what was going on at the time in their lives, and adds another dimension to the, the works and to their lives as well. When there is an, an element uh, uh, that you share, idea that you share with the artist, you would obviously look at uh, the um, painting with um, more interest, you know, because uh, you feel nearer in a way. <laughs> Keeps your mind entertained, definitely.